Hi, everyone. Goodthany Rock Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of this new Turnstile album, Glow On. This is the third full-length LP of Maryland punk outfit Turnstile, a band that rocked through the 2010s with a classic New York hardcore sound, but have arrived at something pretty different and refreshing on their latest effort here, Glow On. To cut to the chase, I haven't been a giant Turnstile fan in the past. I do think their previous material is fine. If if you're a fan of hardcore by any stretch, you should check it out. But if you've been a fan of their stuff up until this point, I hope you enjoy the direction Glow On is moving in. And while it does sound kind of silly, I feel like you could almost call this record Dream Punk. And that's not to overhype it or pigeonhole it or encourage a bunch of band bros to, like, help pioneer this new genre, but it still should be said the band has found out a way on this record to pull off blood-pumping riffs, huge gang vocals, thrilling drumming, all those hardcore mainstays, but with also some sweeter hooks, some subtle nods to alt-rock, plus way dreamier and reverb-heavy production. It does give their sound a more pillowy presentation. In some ways, it doesn't feel too off from the pink, cloudy picture on the cover but Glow On still hits in the ways a good hardcore record should. Now, I will say a record like this is not completely without precedent. There's probably dozens of records I could reference that have an aggressive performance style, but some really dreamy or spacious overtones. In some ways, I'm reminded of just like how delay and reverb soaked the vocals were on some of the cro early 90s stuff. Notes of that crossover thrash energy turn up on Glow On too, as well as a myriad of other influences. Like the occasional without warning but still tastefully executed incorporations of like a Latin groove here and there in the track list. The song Don't Play is a prime example. I cannot believe the mix of influences I'm hearing on the song, and they sound incredible. There's also the song Wild World. Is that a fucking soca rhythm? Which eventually bumps into these floor-stomping hardcore riffs and drums. There are even sequenced beats on occasion in the mix, too. So overall, when it comes to rhythm and groove, Glow On is definitely a more nuanced and, and versatile record than anything Turnstile has done in the past. But the whole thing still presents with a hardcore backbone. You have drums, guitars, and vocals that are clearly rooted in that hardcore tradition, but then on top of that there are these very colorful and versatile and sweet renovations being made with them or to them. But not so much they lose that hardcore foundation, just enough to make it feel refreshing and exciting. So I kind of feel like I've given you this record in a nutshell without diving into too many specifics, but let me throw in a few highlights here. The opening of this record is fantastic, the sparkling synth arpeggios and the super catchy riffs in a way remind me of like a 311 song. The song Blackout hits even harder is even more thrilling, the sequence beats I mentioned earlier play a vital role in making this song more groovy. And when that chorus hits, it's just an explosion of bliss. I don't know whether or not to like a mosh or ascend to heaven. Then there's the song Holiday where the hook goes even harder. It's a holiday! There are some softer pockets in the track list too where the band is almost flirting with uh, the sounds of being like uh, a very beach friendly indie rock group, most notably on the songs Underwater Boy as well as Alien Love Call, which features a Blood Orange on the back end. And these tracks, honestly, are not quite my vibe. It's not the sort of thing I would listen to uh, in isolation, but I do appreciate and understand the need for these tracks in a track list like this, because they do bring some much needed variation, and they are written, performed, and produced very well. The one spot on this LP where I think the sugar coating goes a bit too far is maybe with some of the vocal harmonies on the song Endless. Uh, the very nasal tone there, as well as the way the vocals are treated and layered, it just feels really, um, I guess, synthetic and fake, which is unfortunate because I do love the riffs on that one. But continuing to expand the band's versatility on this LP, there is New Heart Design, which is like an 80s dance pop tune with super slick guitars, but with a heavy, roaring, hardcore chorus. It's kind of like Punk Goes Pop, but not in the shitty way that it did uh, with all those terrible compilations from back in the day. Then TLC is easily one of the most fiery and true blue hardcore numbers on the entire LP. Total Rager with a dank breakdown. Then the ending of the record overall, I'm a little split on. There is uh, no surprise 
Eyes, which is a cool synthy interlude of sorts. And then Lonely Desires. I think this song starts off well between the guitars and drums, great pacing, great energy, but I am not so much into the vocal performance on this one. Having some of the same reservations as I did with Endless here, though maybe not to the same degree. And then ultimately the track ends up uh, sort of vaporizing into the pillowy pink colored reverbs that have been covering the record up until this point and sort of disappears uh, somewhat inconsequentially. So yeah, kind of a snoozer finish unfortunately on the record, but uh, the vast majority of everything else here is fucking fire. This record is aesthetically uh, clean and crisp and pure, but also heavy and punchy, hard hitting. Performances are great and visceral songs are catchy. And uh, yeah, the overall vibe is at least slightly inventive for this brand of hardcore anyway. But yeah, I'm liking this a lot and having a lot of fun spinning the hell out of this LP. I'm feeling a, a decent two strong eight on this one, Tran. Zishin, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like, please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Turnstile, Glow On, forever.